What is going on Beamer fans? Today we're going to be checking out the three things that you must set up as soon as you get your BMW. What's going on guys? This is D from B Review, and if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, what we do here is showcase the latest BMWs and even give you guys some really cool tips and tricks and some setup videos just like the one that we're going to be checking out today. So let's go and get started guys. Before we get started guys, one quick plug from Amazon. We are Amazon partners, so check out this really cool license plate frame and key holder case for your BMW. The link for those are right down below. Now guys, I know that you're probably wondering what these three things are that you must do and the reason why you should be doing these three things is to make sure that you're fully maximizing your, your features on your brand new BMW. So for this video example, we are going to be doing it on iDrive 8, but these same three steps can also apply to a 2022 vehicle or even a 2021 that might just have iDrive 7. They both work the same way. So no worries if this, B, if this BMW iDrive 8 might seem a little bit more different compared to yours, just stay tuned. All right guys, if you haven't already done so, thing number one that you must set up is the My BMW app. So feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast, but I'm just gonna go straight through it. But go ahead and go to the App Store on your iPhone, or if you have a Android, go ahead and go to the App Store in that. And in the search box, you're gonna type in My BMW. That is BMW's newest app that literally just came out less than a year ago, and it's got crazy five-star reviews. The app that you wanna download is this one right over here. It's called My BMW. It's got great, great stars. Now, I've already downloaded this app, but take your time to go ahead and download this app. As you can see here, 4.9 reviews. This thing is a must-have. It can be completely synced to your vehicle, and every BMW owner should have this because there's so many different features that you can do with this. And it also keeps track of your profile and everything else too. So go ahead and download that. Now, if you guys already have an account, go ahead and hit login. But even if you don't, go ahead and hit login or register. It's the same button. Go ahead and hit continue. And then you're going to get this screen pop up in just a second. But this is where you would either log into the screen. But again, guys, a lot of people, they don't have an ABMW account even yet. So what you're going to do is go ahead and hit register now. So yeah guys, go ahead and fill out the registration form. I am going to block my personal information because I don't want you guys to show up at my front door. That would just be really creepy. Uh, but yeah guys, go ahead and fill out your, your email, your first name, your last name. And then once you get to the password, it does get a little bit tricky right around here. So I'm trying to put in a password. And it's really, really tricky because the BMW app is pretty strict on what characters you use. Now if you check out this bottom, the second red line, the characters that you have to use are going to be in the red that you see right down below. I personally like to use the at symbol and that would just do the trick. So take your time with that. Again, just check out your special character. It might be a little bit weird. You have to use one of the special characters that you see on the second or third line there. And then once you're all set with that, you're going to come to this page where it says thank you for your registration. At this point, go ahead and go to your email that you had used to register and you're going to see an email pop up there in just a couple seconds. And then the email is going to basically look like this BMW ID one that you see right here. Once you're in this email, go to where, it's, where you see the blue button called activate your BMW ID. You're going to go and hit that and then it's going to bring you back to the app. Now it says that your BMW ID is activated. Now you're going to go back to your login, hit that blue button again and open my BMW. And then now you're going to be back at this page and again, you're going to hit back to login. Now you're back at the my BMW login screen and whatever ID that you had used, go ahead and put that into the email. Um, go ahead and put that into the BMW ID and whatever weird password that you have set up for this, v, uh, for this app too. Go ahead and set up the password as well. And then once you're also with the password, you're going to hit login. And then you're going to come to a screen, or sorry, you're going to set up a four digit pin first. So go ahead and set that up. And then once you set up the pin, just check off this box. And then once you check off the box, you're going to go ahead and go through, and then you're going to come to a screen, which is the home screen, which looks like this. This is exactly where you want to be to go and add your BMW next. Now guys, you're going to go ahead and hit add my BMW, and then you're going to come to another screen. Um, at this point, go ahead and make sure that you have your VIN number for your vehicle. Um, my favorite place to look for the VIN number is, is going to be on a new registration that you might have or the best place if you still have the window sticker for this vehicle. It's going to be on the lower left side of the window sticker. 
Um, but at this point, go ahead and fill out your personal data. I'm going to skip the screen because I don't want you guys to know where I live. And then once you're done filling out that form, you're going to come to a screen that looks like this. And this is where you're going to put in the VIN number for your vehicle. And again, guys, this might be on your registration or it could be on the lower left side of your window sticker. So use that as a reference. And then right along here, go ahead and fill out your vehicle's VIN number. It doesn't really matter if it's in capital or lowercase. Um, I believe the app will just let you put it in capital, so no worries there. Go ahead and fill that out. And then once you're done filling up the VIN number, now you're gonna come to a screen like this. Just go ahead and hit continue uh, to indicate that you're the main user. And then you're gonna come to a screen like this. Now this is where things get a little tricky. Once you get to this part of the app or screen, and if you catch it quick enough, if you look on the top of your iDrive BMW screen, you'll see a notification pop up there in the gray. And you can actually find the security code by just hitting that. But if not, you're going to have to go into your vehicle and go find the security code. Now, the security code, I'm actually going to show you guys where to find it for iDrive 8. Uh, and if you have iDrive 7, it's going to be under BMW Messages. For iDrive 8, it's also going to be under BMW Messages. But I'll actually show you guys a video demonstration on where you can find that. So yeah guys, once you set the security code, it's going to show up right along here. But if you missed it, there's another way where you can find it, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to use the controller, or sorry, I'm just going to use my finger here. And we're going to go into menu. And then the easiest thing to do is actually just go, in, go into the browse menu. And then type in messages. Once you see messages, the one you want to click on is called BMW Messages. And then inside here, we're going to see our security code. It's going to be the one that says my info and then BMW Connected Drive security code. So once you click on that, you're going to see the security code right, right over here. And then this is what you're going to punch into the phone. All right, guys, going back to the phone. At this point, go ahead and put in your security code into this menu right over here. And then once you're all set with that, go and hit the next button. And then you're going to come to a loading screen that looks like this. And then you're almost done. And now it says that you're all set. Go ahead and hit finish. Now this is where things get really, really tricky. So as you can see, the vehicle is still not up yet. And that actually is completely normal. I've actually seen this every single time I've paired a vehicle with the app. All the app needs is just a few minutes, probably three to five minutes or so for the vehicle to load up. You might even see a screen that looks like this. And if that's the case, don't even worry, don't freak out. Uh, just wait and then we're going to come back to the app in just a couple minutes. But now we're going to move on to step number two on what you need to do. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to go to home. So now that we have our app all set up, and again, it might take up to about five minutes for the car to show up there, but just leave it alone for right now. And then we're going to come back to it. So anyways, guys, um, the next step would be to make yourself a BMW ID, which is going to be this first one right here. Once you get to this screen, what you're going to do is click on the part where it says login with my BMW app. And then it's generating a QR code. And then you're going to see the code right over here. So then your next step would be to get your camera and then go ahead and scan that QR code. And then once you scan the QR code, just hit confirm and then hit OK. And then now on the screen back again, you're just going to hit whichever one you want. If you want to keep your current settings, if you already adjusted your seat, go ahead and hit current settings. But if you're transferring from um, a previous BMW, you could actually hit settings from the BMW cloud and then it'll go back to uh, what you had in the last car. But for this vehicle, we're going to do current settings because we already adjusted our seats. So now we're going to hit continue and then give it a couple seconds. And then over here, you can choose if you want to set up your pin or not. Um, but most of the time, you just go to continue. And right here is going to ask you if you want to link your key. Now, what this means is that each BMW key can store one profile. So then whenever you use your key to get into your car, then the car will know that is you entering the vehicle. And then so once that happens, then the car will automatically adjust to your profile or your BMW ID 
and it'll change everything that was catered to you. So say for example, your radio stations, your head-up display height, even your seat settings, and so on and so forth. Everything will be saved, will be saved to your profile. But for right now guys, I'm just gonna skip it. And then right over here, step three of three is gonna welcome you and you're just gonna hit set up basic functions. And we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. But basically, we already set up our BMW ID, which is right over here, and I do apologize for the glare, it's kinda of hard to see. But if you guys want us to know more information and details really quickly on what this BMW ID can do, go ahead and hit explain benefits. If you don't, it's all good. Uh, but right here, the next step would be to add a mobile device. So for example, we're gonna connect our Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if you have Android. We're gonna hit add device. And then right here, we already did a video on how to connect the phone. And if you guys want to see that, I'll link it right down below. But this is the part where you would connect your phone to get Apple CarPlay. There's also a fix for this too. If you guys are having a hard time trying to connect your phone, uh, I do have a fix on the YouTube channel too. So definitely check that out if you're having a hard time trying to connect your Apple CarPlay. But we're just gonna skip this part. Again, if you guys wanted to know how to connect your phone, check the link below. Um, I do have a separate video on how to connect your phone. Uh, but we're gonna go back and then now we're gonna go to data privacy and make sure that everything there is all set up. Uh, so here's one thing to pay attention to. So data privacy is one of those things where you definitely gotta pay attention to. Um, the car has some really cool safety features, things like surround 3D view, where it could potentially record whatever is going around your car too. If you want that to be enabled, you do have to check off all services, including analysis, or simply just hit all services. And what that will allow you to do is track your car through the My BMW app to see where a car is via, to see where the car is via GPS. Um, the other thing too, it will allow you to use your remote 3D view from your app, so you can see uh, where your car is and what's surrounding it. Again, you do have to have the parking assistance package for that to work. Uh, but for the most part, guys, if, if you don't mind the app tracking you and where you are, you're going, go ahead and hit all services right here. Now, now I'm just gonna go back, so that's all set. And lastly, guys, the last check checkbox that we have here, once you're there, then you're pretty much all set. You have your phone connected, you have your BMW ID all set, and at this point, you would have your My BMW app at this point, too. Um, definitely go back to the phone to check your app. Your vehicle should have been on by now. Um, so if you do go back to your app, you will see your vehicle pop up. So yeah, guys, once you guys are all set with that, go ahead and jump back to the app, and now you should see your vehicle start to pop up in just a couple seconds but the one that i have connected looks like this and again if you're still not seeing your vehicle what you want to do is try closing the app and going back into it and it might take just a little bit of time for that to pop up but um but once it's up it's gonna look like this a cool thing to mention about the app guys is that the new ones they do come with a bmw digital key and this ix has a digital key plus but more on that some other day but a lot of 2022 vehicles, 2023 vehicles, you can now use your phone as a digital key. You can use it to tap on the door handle to lock and unlock the car. You can also take it and then place it on the old charging pad. And then you could potentially just drive off with just that, uh, with just that digital key as well too. So definitely make sure you guys set up the digital key if your vehicle is equipped with it. You just click on this little box right over here that I'm moving called BMW Digital Key. You do have to keep both of the keys inside the vehicle. And again, not all BMWs are available with this. It's mainly gonna be the new ones that are. So definitely take advantage of that. But yeah, guys, those were the three steps that you have to and must do as soon as you get into your BMW. And again, guys, just in case you guys skipped over it, the three steps were to sign into your BMW app and get that set up. And step number two was to create your driver profile or BMW ID. And lastly, step number three, was to connect your Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Those were the three main steps. And again, if you guys wanted to go back to those steps, I will link the different timestamps in the description below. So definitely take advantage of that. Let me know if this video helped you guys. If you guys want more tips and tricks and more how-to videos, comment down below. If you guys bumped into any issues, also comment down below too, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Again, have a great day. And if you just got a brand new BMW, congrats on your brand new BMW. You guys are gonna love it. And welcome to the family.